Excuse me. The exhibit hall is upstairs. We are not tourists, Dr. Jones. I am Marshal Kai Di Chang of the Chinese Republic. This is my assistant, Mei Ying. So, what can I do for you? You sure this is really Jones, Boss? A good name. You don't want to give him a little bit. The next time the boss is not going to be able to give him a chance, he's very strong. No matter how many hands, 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 What do you know about Qin Shi Huangdi? The first emperor of China. He built the Great Wall and established a dynastic government that lasted for centuries. His reign lasted from 255 BC to... That information can be found in a school book, Dr. Jones. My interests concern the stories surrounding the emperor's tomb. As you are undoubtedly aware, Emperor Qin is buried under Mount Li near the city of Xi'an. Yes, that's about all anybody really knows for sure. According to the legends, Qin's tomb is an immense underground city filled with unimaginable riches, which took thousands of workers several years to build. After its completion, all those involved with the construction of the tomb were sealed inside. At least that's what the stories say. Due to Chinese superstition, nobody really knows for sure. Yes. The Chinese people have always held that excavation and desecration of the tomb are one and the same. As a consequence, no one has ever been allowed to explore it. Until now. Why are you coming to me with this? Chinese history isn't exactly my specialty. It's your non-academic reputation that interests me. Have you ever heard of the heart of the dragon? Only in Chinese folklore. It's a mythological artifact like Excalibur or the Holy Grail. Ah, but unlike those flights of Western fancy, the heart of the dragon is quite real. A flawless black pearl that was buried with the emperor. It's said that the heart possesses the power to control the will of men. Look, I know you traveled a long way to see me, but I'm an archaeologist, not a mystic. Mm, then it's a good thing I came looking for an archaeologist. Superstitious folktales aside, the heart is a priceless treasure of the Chinese people, one that must never fall into the wrong hands. That is why China wants you to find it. Okay, let's say I'm interested. It'll take months of meticulous excavation to find the entrance to Chin's crypt. I wouldn't even know where to begin. On the contrary, Dr. Jones, you've already begun. Hey! What the heck is that? It is one third of the Mirror of Dreams. The mirror is the key to finding the crypt's entrance within the tomb. You do not realize the magnitude of the events you have set in motion, Dr. Jones. Even as we speak, others are pursuing the two remaining pieces. If they get the mirror, nothing will stop them from entering the crypt, stealing the heart, and using its power to enslave the world. Ah, my apologies, Professor. My assistant is cursed with a vivid imagination and an impetuous tongue. Reminds me of my last date. In any event, the British government has graciously allowed me to take possession of this artifact on China's behalf. We want you to recover the final two pieces of the mirror, enter Qin's crypt, and recover the heart of the dragon. You'll become the most famous archaeologist in history. Will you help us? A chance to become the first man in the Emperor's tomb? When do we leave? I've already booked you a flight to Prague. It leaves tomorrow morning. This contains everything you need to know. Read it on the flight. Be careful, Dr. Jones. The path to the dragon's heart is more dangerous than you can imagine. It always is, sweetheart. <laughs>